Hello, and welcome back to Hoi 4, A Question War, with Griffwald and Jean. And in today's episode, we continue on as we journey forward to um, defeat our enemies and hopefully conquer some new land, which would be very nice. Um, first, for now, I like to go ahead and get these guys going, as you know, I like to go ahead and get um, use my command power when I get it. Um, do, 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 going good, going good. Building's going great. Um, let me get this stuff down. Because no one cares about it. Um, let's see, I need to make sure to save my political power. I want to go up to war economy when I go, <laughs> once I go to war. Um... Alright, and next I'm gonna go, yeah, pump, yeah, yeah. There we go. And yeah, let's prepare for war. Let's go. Everyone loves war. You know, who doesn't like war, right? Everyone likes war. Come on. Everybody loves war. Like, don't you love war? Come on, everyone loves war. Uh, the Griffonian Empire accepts. Our diplomat returned with great news. The Griffonian Empire has accepted a request for military aid. We'll be sending over some of their advisors to help us with our bandit problem. So long as we keep them questioning the fires and ensure the validity of their advice, they shall be of great use to our military. Here comes the advisors. All right. So yeah, so that gives me the the Protean Fury. Despite their greed, the Archons have de deemed to, to lend us some of their brightest minds to improve our offensive strategies and train our troops. Ooh, we really did need that extra .03 uh, army experience daily. Very important there. Um, for two decades, we have been forced to watch the Pomverian abomination at our heels. Theirs is a system of lethargy and false promises, and to allow it to continue would reignite the flames of banditry and treachery we've spent so long putting out. Yes, of course. No, oh, Yale's not under them anymore. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, honestly, it doesn't seem like things are going that great for the Griffoni Empire. Looking... Oh, and now they're going to war with Yale. Well, it's a 2v1. But, I mean... Honestly, Yale probably will hold them for a while. I mean... Yeah, they've already pushed a little far. We'll have to wait and see. Oop, don't, nope, don't spend political power. Don't, don't spend political power, me. We're literally saving it. That's the entire plan. Oh, I should do this, though. So that you can go and be placed in the main army. Again. I'm down, you're good. I'm just, I'll just bring you three on to the, once we go to the big war. I mean, if House Avian counts the big war. But <laughs> I don't think they do, so <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Alright. I'm just proud of West Keep holding on like that. Like, how are they doing that? It's beautiful. And for the second time in a row, they're doing that like crazy. Good for them. Alright, move this up to war economy. And then I want to do this. Now what I want to do is I want to actually just push through the sides. Yeah, let's do that. 
Our northern neighbors have shown themselves to be excellent industrialists in recent years. Through, though with their recent crises, it is plain to see that some of their... Hmm... Uh, I lost it. <laughs> that some of their more prominent companies are seeking to hedge some of their bets elsewhere by extending a few very generous offers to these companies we should be able to get their aid to expand our industry hmm. that sounds like a great idea let's do it Nice, nice. Oh, never mind. We're stuck now. They brought in their professional army. Here we go. Well, they brought in their good troops, but we'll handle it. I mean, as long as their good troops are distracted over here, the rest of my guys can push through another front. So there's that. Like these guys, pushing forward. And these guys are looking to about just about be ready. Okay, um You guys push down. There we go. And yeah, they've already fallen. Just like that. Boom. That is how you do it. Alright, now we'll take our, um, these guys. And set them to... You seem good. Um, you guys can head there. You guys can head up there. And now uh, we'll prepare our guys. Now this one should be our easiest war of the three. I just wanted to be able to attack from the south and north. But yeah, this this should be our easiest war. Chloena actually will probably be our strongest, strangely enough. The hardest war, strangely enough. Despite them being one little piece. Because, well, they have the most troops. And it's going to be a grind fest. Because they can just repeatedly... Um, set themselves for the uh, last stand and uh, it's going to be a grind to take them out in that case. But, you know, it is how it is. I'm going to place you there, and I'll place the other two up there as well. Just because, why not? Well, honestly, looking at my guys, the only one I really want here is artillery. So honestly, I think we'll just keep the defense guy. I mean, there's always times where you get pushed into, even when you... Expect to be the more aggressive power. So why not keep the defense guy? Hmm. That seems fine to me. Alright, I want these five guns because just to help with more build up. And then after that, I want to just build a whole bunch of support equipment because we're going to need that too. I'll probably set that to like eight.
In fact, yeah, this is gonna give us the military factories, and then I can set that up. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now I want House Avian. Let me go ahead and set this up. That seems good. Not just it'll give us any stuff. It does give us new advisor. Where's this new advisor? Um. Oh no, it's a de available as design company. Um. Uh, where are design? Available as design company. I don't know where that is. There we go. Go ahead and. No, I'm meant for pausing and being able to place you guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, is this it? Is that the one I got? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. So there it is. That's the one I got. Which does seem like the best one I can do, so I probably will do that at some point. Actually, what about... Yeah, I, I'd like just getting the extra production efficiency cap more than extra research speed for those ones. So yeah, that probably that will be the one I go with. Uh, a foothold in the east. Avernia, a land as lush as it is stagnant. Compared to the other realms around us, it would be relatively simple to establish ourselves within the region to make use of the resources therein for our own needs. Yeah, yeah, I I, I completely agree. They, I do think they're going to be our easiest target, so I do agree with that. I mean, I don't think they'll cause too much struggle for us, to be honest. And, uh, oh. So these guys do still do their Civil War stuff in this timeline. Wow, weekly stability gain minus five. The embattled dynasty, War of Northern Succession, failed industrialization. Ooh. Oh, you also have failed industrialization, but you have the Order, War of Northern Succession, also. Uh, Imperial Aspiration, Greater Province Self- Oh, you're just- War of Northern Succession. So your goal isn't like to take over or anything, you just want to succeed. King, Karen, Faith, the Concord, can survive even- Interesting. Okay, let's get over here, let's- Go over let's declare war Boom, bada boom and now we're gonna go over here for the next thing yes um you guys i just want to push that way and i also just want you guys to push this way because i think that will be the most efficient for us if i can just take these quickly because i honestly think that'll be enough to just win immediately. If not, you guys could go ahead and push further forward and deal with that sort of stuff and whatever. But honestly, I'm pretty sure that'll be enough. In fact, um, if it is, yeah, it is. So I'm, I could just straight up immediately do the Floina War, actually, because of how quickly I did that. Um. Well, that was an easy war. Because, yeah, now I can, um, well. Yeah. 
if I get a peace deal with them. At some point before it reaches 10. There we go. And boom, there we go. And in that case, I'm not going to do Reward Deal Nobility yet. I'm going to do Revoke the Free City of Floina. Floina, a despicable hub of greed and gluttony. Their involvement with the bandit has been has not been forgotten nor forgiven. They saw our situation as little more than a chance for profit and conquest. So are we not justified in returning the favor? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Let's return the favor to them. They'll see. They'll see. <laughs> They'll learn not to mess with us. Not again. <laughs> uh, this'll be good. The Yarnum Chital, um, join them. I don't really care what you guys are doing. You guys don't matter to me. You're doing your weird civil war thing where you choose, like, one of them to side with, depending on what you are. And then you, and then you all fight, and it's odd. But you guys, your borders are always so weird, but you guys do you. I still have not played that nation. I really should at some point. I have no idea what's going on there. Like, not even in my free time. I've never played it. <clears throat> I've never read the lore. I've never played it. I don't know anything about it. I just, I don't know. Just haven't gotten around to it. Okay. <laughs> Like, we played Zayder TS twice, but I've never played Dior Chital. We played Hippogriffia twice. <laughs> twice, once, once, once. I mean, honestly, at this rate, I'll probably play Warzina before I play them. Though, actually, in my, and also, I mean on my channel, because in my free time, I haven't read their lore, uh, mostly, but I have played Warzina in my free time, but I haven't played you at all. Alright, I am gonna real quickly do a save, just because, I don't know, I just feel like this is the most likely to fail, just because it's gonna be grind fast. So, you know, I'm gonna do a quick... Just a quick cheeky save. A cheeky save, you know? I know, I know. I'm over precautious sometimes. Sometimes I, you know, what I've heard, I've heard some people say, I mean, no one online, and actually I don't think anyone's ever said this to me, but I can't save scum a little too much. Less on Hoi4, a lot more on EU4, to be honest. Um, partially why I don't really want to do an EU4 series or anything is because I know I, I, I'm i way too used to saves coming all the time in that game. Alright, that's already going pretty well. Uh, in fact, yeah, now that we're with us surrounding them, this is going well. Uh, there are those who, despite all the odds, still stood strong in Adler throughout the chaos of the last two decades. Such tenacity is to be applauded and rewarded with a place in our new government. To help prevent such anarchy from befalling us once more. Yes. Hear, hear. And, of course, they do their... They do the other thing and make their own alliance. They've defeated Tobuk, which means they just have Zeratia left to fight. Alright, this is going well. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. What do we do? We push, push, push. 
There we go. We took it out their main part. Now we just have the two divisions that decided not to fight in the opening. Now we have to murder them. And, um... Yeah, it's about to be done now. There we go. Okay, that was simple. No, no, no need to worry me. That was simple enough. Alright, there we go. Boom. Uh, sure. Everyone knows the vaults of Fluina are full of valuables. Now that we have seized the city and subjugated its populace, nothing stops us from borrowing some cash. Or all of it. Permanently. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Loot from Fluina. Our soldiers have thoroughly emptied all the bank vaults of Fluina. Now we can freely invest all this wealth. Woo! Let's go! That's how you do it. Next, we'll work on those since they're at 60. That seems good. Alright. <laughs> and I mean, that's all the war goals we're gonna get for a while. Because our next our next thing we have to do to continue fighting is um is is attack Aquilia. <laughs> I mean and I say attack Aquilia instead of be attacked by Aquilia because honestly at this rate I think attacking Aquilia is what we're gonna need to do. I don't I don't think I don't think they're gonna defeat Westkeep. I think we're gonna have to justify a war go on them whenever we wanna do that. So, yeah, I think it's just, I think that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> All right. And that gives us a new, pol some new political advisors, which seem like, you know, good people, good people. I like them. The Preferary brought to heal. With our new land secure, we should bring, we should begin our attempts to formally integrate them. Though they may complain now, in time our new citizens will learn how to be Griffwaldian rather than what they may have been before. Yeah, let's go, Bob Vermillion. Don't really care, but uh, oh, well they did take Vermillion, but now they're surrounded. So I'm not sure if that's. Really winning? Oh, the Resolute Flame. They're doing better now. The Flame is at least. They're doing industrial investments. You know, getting some stuff going. I can, yeah, might as well give you Offensive Doctrine. That sounds good. Um, let's see. Nope, nope. I'll just do four for now. Let's see. Let's set each of you to integration because that'll make this a lot easier. And yeah, there we go. That seems good. A new feudalism. Graffoni has moved away from its core tenets far too much. There was once a natural order that this new age of republicanism and socialism is so clearly violated. We shall strive to achieve this natural order once more by shunning the luxuries of the present and returning once more to how Griffonia must be. Woo, let's go, yay, that's what we want. 
That's what we need. That's how you bought it. That's how you need it. Du, 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 du. Okay. <laughs> It will also be really helpful once these are cores, because that'll give me a lot more manpower. So let's go, let's become cores, everybody. Come on, everybody, let's be cores. Come on, everybody, let's be cores. Do, 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 do. Come on, everybody, become a core. Yeah, I'm thinking capable administrator and sociopathic bureaucrat are the ones I want for this one. And then at some point, I'll switch my, uh, you know, my my civilian industrials for war industrialist. Once I become more war heavy. And then over here, I want that. Yeah, that all seems good. Plans are brewing. Let's restore the structures of old. That'll be good. That's what we all want. Yeah, these seem good. Hmm. Are all these available? Either one or the following. One of the following. One of the following, and oh, one of the following of the two, and also teach the rabble. Uh, oh, that also. Yeah, yeah. Then in that case, I think I'm just going to go for our resources for ourselves. Because more resources sounds great. There we go. Go ahead and get that going. But I think this is a good time to go ahead and end this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button. And as always, peace.